Christian Bale, he is stepping into a role of both biblical and epic proportions. In Exodus, Gods and Kings, Bale plays Moses, raised as a foster brother to Ramses, who is destined to become Pharaoh. But everything changes when he finds out who Moses really is. Take a look. How do you know Moses? You know how I know him. So you're not his sister, then? Of course not. Place your arm on the table. Ramesses, don't take this any further. Don't take this any further? Mm -hmm. What? Do not take this any further. Are you quite sure about that? Get your hand off it or use it now. Oh, such an intense scene. And it's so great to have Christian Bale with us here. Thank you. The movie is phenomenal. But I understand Thank Ridley you. Scott said in a press conference that when he first approached you about playing Moses, you said, oh, no. What changed your mind? The well, script? who would? You know, who would? I mean, I know myself to be such an idiot. And, you, and this is such an iconic, influential uh, figure, so beloved of so many people. You, you just inevitably have, you know, very healthy amount of self-doubt about playing such a character. And I know you did a tremendous amount of research on this, uh, reading Torah, reading the Bible, uh, talking to religious people, trying to get a feel of it. Yes, watching Life of Brian, um, watching Mel Brooks' um, version of uh, Moses. Um, that's that's where I began. And then um, I, I, interesting I do tell choice. You, it, no, it's where it's where you have to start because you do something with as much weight and gravitas as this. You have to. Uh, 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 see where the red flags are, you know, when you can uh, go unintentionally funny. Um, and they're brilliant films anyway, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, there, there's so much um, to see. Charlton Heston. I was going to say course. Charlton Heston. Burt Lancaster. Um, and, uh, oh, hey, mate. Thank you very much. Um, and, uh, 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 the, the, and, then, and then reading the Torah. And uh, that was something which was a real eye-opener for me. You know, I'd never read the Torah from beginning right through to the end. And uh, I discovered that Moses is one of the most fascinating, um, uh, challenging, and complex characters I've ever, I've ever read about. And hence, you know, the relevance and uh, why uh, his story has resonated for millennia. Now you've called him conflicted. And at one point, you said barbaric, which drew some controversy. It, you can it, it draws controversy. I, I do do suggest that people who um, uh, find that controversial read the entire Torah. Um, uh, I'm not talking about actually a passage that is contained within the film um, that we've made. Um, our film um, uh, uh, is, is focused on the relationship between Moses and Ramesses, but there is a passage that comes later in Numbers. It's Numbers 31, 14 through 18. It's quite well known, um, and that's what I was referring to. Mm -hmm. and, and not only is the relationship between uh, Moses and Ramesses in the film, but the relationship between Moses and God, and I don't want to give anything away but I was struck, as I know all moviegoers will be, on how Ridley chose to depict God. Right. What was that like for you, and what did you make of that choice? Um, well, he's a wonderful actor, and I think it was a very bold choice by Ridley. Um, he is a messenger of God. Uh, the name of the character is Malak, which means messenger. Um, and uh, uh, the, um, uh, the, the, the word Israelite means he who wrestles with God. Mm. And Moses, um, it's biblically accurate that he wrestled with him constantly. They disagreed with each other um, uh, uh, throughout. Um, their relationship, um, and uh, it was a very tumultuous and mercurial relationship that the two of them had. You can see the scenes here. I mean, Epic doesn't even begin to describe the scenery, the cinematography. You were in the Canary Islands for some of this. We were in uh, um, the Fuerteventura um, in Almeria as well, where they shot all of the spaghetti westerns, which is unusual. They shot all the spaghetti westerns in Spain, so <laughs> it, they really Who should knew? be like paella westerns. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and, and we shot in um, we shot in Pinewood um, as well. But these incredible um, locations that Ridley managed to find and nowadays um, you have incredible technology um, and uh, Ridley is a master of uh, he's a real artist um, with what he creates with his film images and also he's able to create this wonderful human story which is after all the only important thing you know special effects mean nothing without a great human story. And by the way, I just want to mention, love you on the mic. Are you going to sing something for us here? Um, I, 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 I like Hank Williams an awful lot. Um, you know, but, we, um, we had some microphone difficulties, so thank uh, you for taking on the stick absolutely, mic. Absolutely. <laughs> we appreciate it. Christian sure. Bale, consummate professional, thank you for being with us. Exodus, Gods and Kings, opens nationwide on Friday.